Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your Six Adventures. Today in this video, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to change the oil in your John Deere lawnmower. So let's go ahead, jump in the video right now. So I already started changing my oil in my John Deere lawnmower. However, you can find the model number located on your tractor right here. Mine is the LA125, and this was produced from 2008 to 2010. So I shared up my lawnmower, and I cut the grass for about five to 10 minutes just to allow the oil to drain just a little bit better. Now I'm gonna be replacing my filter as well. And I have this one, it is the AM125424C from John Deere. And this is what the box looks like right here. And then I'm gonna be putting in some 10W30. So this is my brake right here and my reverse. There is a small hose coming up here, or pipe and there will be a small black cap on top of this. And what you're gonna to wanna to do is unscrew it. Now, you don't wanna just pull it straight off. It does have this like little notch where you have to turn it and then pull it off. And there is a small like little bump right here on the pipe. So it's gonna be sitting like this, turn it and then pull it off. Shouldn't take too much effort and I'm gonna put this to the side right now or just leave it in my pan. So I have my pan just right here between the wheel and the blades. And this has been draining for about five minutes now. And if you're confused about uh, what kind of oil and how much to put in, just look up this model number, John Deere, and you should be able to find something on google.com real quick and easy. But this one, it is recommended to put in 1.5 quarts, so this one is one quart, and then I'll be putting in a half of this one. So I should have about 500 milliliters left in this one right here, and I can measure it out on the side here. You can see the numbers. So about 500 millimeters will be halfway. And this looks like it's dripping pretty good now. All right, so I'm just getting some drips here, and I'm just gonna wipe this off, and then put this on real quick. Just like this, turn it to the side, perfect. So my cap is now on, let's wipe this off. And then I'm gonna move my oil pan to the other side so I can change my oil filter. All right, so I kinda did the best, I kinda keep the pan directly under my filter and the filter will be a little bit difficult to get off but with some muscle and good grip, you can turn it now, if you can't get the oil filter off, what you can do is spray some WD-40 right here on the sides of the oil filter just to loosen up and get some oil in there. Then I'm going to use this big pipe wrench just to get it off. And hopefully this works. So let's go ahead and grip it and then turn it. All right, so I finally have it spinning here. And I'm not too worried about damaging it since I'll be replacing the filter. So slowly coming off. That one was really stuck on there. Ugh. So here it comes. Slowly spinning. Alright. So I just about have it off. Let's get my pan under here. Just in case there's some oil dripping, isn't too bad. If you have a really big pipe wrench, that would be a lot easier. There you go, it came off. Let's go ahead and just drain this. Let's get some oil inside. And then I'm gonna wipe the rest up that I just dripped off. All right, so here we go. That's the old one. Let's go ahead and wipe this up. I'm just gonna take off my gloves. And then before putting on the new oil filter, we want to take some fresh oil and just put it around the edges. So let's crack open my new engine oil here. And then let's just get a little bit of oil on my finger here. 
and just put it around the edges of my filter. Just like that. Go ahead and put this on now. And spin it. Alright, it's just about on there. Probably. Make sure it's nice and snug here so it doesn't leak oil when I'm using it. step is to put in the new engine oil. So I'm going to remove my pan here. And I'm going to wipe up any oil that's been dripping on my frame here. Perfect. Now let's go to the other side and put in some new oil. Alright, so let's remove this cap. And then put this in. It looks like I got some debris here. I'm going to clean this off. I got some cotton on there or something. Let's place this in there. And then I'm going to put in one entire quart here and then half the other. So let's just put this just like this and drain it in. Okay, so that's one quart. Now let's put in the other. And then just watch it very carefully so we don't put too much in. So let's put in just about 500 milliliters. All right, looks like we're at 650, about 100 more to go. Just a little bit more and we'll be perfect. All right, so we're right around 500. So let's put this cap back on. Okay, so let's remove this. Put this to the side. And let's put our dipstick back in and clean it off. And just make sure we're in the full area right here. So we want to make sure oil is in between here. You can kind of see the arrows on here. So let's put it in. Bring this out. And it looks like we're doing pretty good. So it looks like we're just a little bit above the line. So if you do put too much oil, you can easily just drain it. So if this video did indeed help you out, go ahead and leave it a big thumbs up. And subscribe to my channel down below for more tech up videos coming up next on your six adventures.